Good morning. We are looking out to the uh, east, northeast, and we are looking at some quiet weather this morning. It's mostly cloudy in a lot of spots, but we'll gradually see those clouds clear. And as we get into the afternoon, a nice bright day for many. And in addition to that, a warm one too. Yesterday was pretty mild today. We might see those temperatures soar. It looks like pretty uh, good chance of those temperatures soaring once again, perhaps even warmer than yesterday. Checking a look at our numbers right now, we're doing all right in the temperature department. We're into the 20s in most areas, a couple of places out east into the teens, some mid to some upper teens there at 16 degrees in Bidette, 19 in Bemidji and in Wadena. And over to the west, milder, Devil's Lake is at 31 degrees and Fargo's at 29. Wind is out of the south and east or south at the moment. Gradually, we'll see it become a little more southwesterly, a nice warming direction and wind up to about 12 miles per hour. Our visibility is uh, looking good for most areas. We do have one spot Cavalier, which is a little bit lower and we've been seeing just a couple of radar returns showing up in that area and Northern Valley along the Canadian border back over to the east up into the Lake of the Woods area and Red Lake. That's an area we may see a little bit of precip coming up for later today as well. But this morning, maybe a few snowflakes for you there. Uh, in the Southern Valley, a lot drier and more mainly cloudy for many of us here in the Valley. Tri-State view looks quiet too, just a little bit more on the cloudy side. So here's a look at what we can expect to see today. We've got some temperatures that are into the 20s and we'll see them climbing through the morning at 9 o'clock into some 30s for Fargo around 32 around the 9 o'clock hour. So not too bad getting into work and into school today. I had for the noon hour, we're warming right back up. Yesterday we had 47 degrees in Fargo. We'll hit that number and maybe even climb higher than that as we progress through the day. By noon, we'll be at 43 degrees there. Again, up north where we have a little more of a snowpack, that's where it's going to be a little cooler. It's also north and east where we're more likely to have cloud cover for today. And then we'll continue to see uh, some of that clearing happening as well as we get toward that 3 o'clock hour. So temperatures into the 30s to low 40s up in the northern valley. Fargo may near the 50 degree mark. We get to that 49 degree temperature and 50 potentially down by Oaks. Wind will be out of the southwest. And again, it's picking up with some gusts into the 20s coming up for the afternoon and stronger than that as we get into the nighttime hours tonight as we start to get a little bit of snow dipping into that northwestern uh, part of Minnesota here into the evening hours. And this is an area where you might see a quick little snow squall uh, sweep through. And with the wind gusting into the 30s, visibility just in some isolated areas, very isolated areas, you might see a little bit of snow. The rest of us here in the valley looking fairly quiet uh, for the uh, uh, nighttime hours tonight. It's to the north and east where we're looking at that snowfall potential and all of us dealing with a little bit of wind. Now heading into tomorrow morning, that kind of clears out. We're still dealing with a few clouds tomorrow morning, but we get a lot colder for the day on Tuesday. We're going to be into the teens to start in many spots and getting into the noon hour more into the teens and 20s and some of us or many of us in the south at least getting into the 20s but a lot of places up north stuck in the teens for highs so a real way a rude awakening for the day on tuesday uh, as far as temperatures are concerned with that wind out of the northwest gradually that does ease up but it's going to be a pretty raw day for us tomorrow. So enjoy today. We've got one more day of this really nice weather before we uh, really start to feel that chill. Again, here's that photo from Union Lake. Thank you, Lori, for sharing that with us. And we've got, again, that windy weather starting later today and into Tuesday. Wednesday, another little sweep of some a uh, quick round of precipitation, a little mix uh, with some snow into the evening hours, of course, right when everybody's hitting the road. Uh, for their Thanksgiving destination. That's something that bears watching, but it's not a major event. Enough to maybe cause some slick spots on the roadways, though. We'll continue to update you on that as it gets closer for Thanksgiving. Not bad, 36 degrees. And Black Friday, starting off kind of cool, but not a bad day. Back into the upper 40s for Friday. Thank you, Lisa. You can make a tasty meal in under 15 minutes. We'll tell you where to pick up the Handy Meal Kit next.